Not a question. Rectrio is being asked plenty and he's under pressure to keep tabs on these uh, two leaders ahead of him. Gone towards the... Now, by the way, Leo Dupre was pulled up over that next fence, the open ditch there, and Mr. Allegro leading by only half a length. Din Din now, is, now he's being asked to race. Philip Armstrong is easing him into contention. He must have been getting a great feel here because they're down towards the third last. And for the first time, Din Din draws alongside Mr. Allegro, who responds, though. Now, these two are about uh, 10, 12 clear of Rectrio, who's well held. The only other survivor here coming down to the home straight. And Din Din is now being driven hard by Philip Armson to take control. Now he goes up. He comes down to the second last with a lead of two lengths. Up and over it. Oh, and a bad mistake. And shot up in the air, Mr. Allegro, who unseats Rex Dingle. Oh, goodness me, that was a dramatic unseat. He looks second best, but uh, meanwhile, Dindin comes down towards the final fence, steady and down! Oh, goodness me! Dindin has uh, thrown it away, both rider and jockey up. Here comes at the last Rectory Oak, who's blundered his way over it. He's going to be the only one to finish in a race that was chock full of drama. And this, in memory of Pat Morris, Vinicom handicap chase will go to Rectory Oak, and one or two people might have backed him, Brendan Powell and Joe Tizard in the colours of Mitter Pritchard. The only one to finish.